you'll discover new hints, tips, and secrets for Batman. This game player strategy tape is full of hints, tips, and playing strategies. In Batman, blast the darker blocks. You'll uncover special weapons and other items you need. Here at the beginning, you'll find a gun. You can restore lost energy by grabbing hearts that are also hidden behind dark blocks. To get this one, shoot the block with the heart and the one right under it, then fall to safety. Then jump quickly to avoid this gunman's fire. You can avoid most of the action in this area by traveling on the blocks above. The wave gun's shots will go through barrels and other objects. With this gun, you can destroy enemies before they can get at you. If you stay up on the blocks at the end of this stage, you can get these extra items. The bat shield can really come in handy. Use your bat shield to kill enemies without ever firing a shot. Get right above them and let them walk right into your circle of destruction. Don't miss this heart. You'll probably need it by the time you get here. At the beginning of stage 1-3, duck and fire until the first enemies appear on the screen. Take them on one at a time until it's okay to move on. Don't waste a life trying to get things you can't reach. When you take Jack on, it's best to have a bat bullet gun, so you can hit him twice with each shot. You can avoid most of his shots by ducking and you can escape his deadly touch by jumping over him. Jump quickly and carefully on these columns to avoid the falling boulders. You can also jump far enough to make a boulder fall and then jump back before it hits you. This capsule will make your bat shield rotate faster. It's easiest to destroy these blocks and then jump to safety. Use the lower dark blocks as a step up to the higher one. Then you can take what's behind the bottom block. Some of these platforms will let you avoid a lot of danger. Don't miss the weapon up here. It's very powerful. Also, when you've been hit, use your moment of invincibility to do your dirty work. Don't overlook the free man down here. Here in the Batwing stage, you have to keep the fire button down. Watch out for the ships that sneak up from behind. Shoot these blimps as soon as they appear. Otherwise, the screen will be full of bullets. After the blimps, be ready for this huge plane to attack from behind. Don't try to aim at the plane. Just keep firing while you dodge the oncoming fire. The plane will take care of itself. When the helicopter flies onto the screen, zip down to the bottom left. 
then gradually slip through its fire. When the corner turrets begin to shoot, pull back to the bottom left side of the screen and dodge their bullets. Ignore the turrets and keep blasting away at the copter. Destroy these planes as soon as they appear. It's not easy to handle several at once. You can dodge the missiles by moving from left to right and back again while holding down the fire button. This flying menace has pretty predictable firing patterns. Fly circles around it and destroy it with your bat power. You'll be better off taking the high road here in stage 4-1. A wave gun will let you take care of these cannons with no problem. If you stay on the ground, you can eliminate all of these enemies by ducking and shooting. If you try to get above them, their shots will follow you. There's an invisible block near the end of level 4-1 that will help you get an extra man. Level 4-2 is the most difficult yet. You're forced to keep moving to the right, so keep firing and stay as far ahead as possible. Don't even waste time getting items behind dark blocks. Just keep moving and clear a safe path. You'll have to shoot this block, or you won't make the jump. Once you've made it through this level, you haven't got far to go before you can bring peace back to Gotham City. Good luck!